Is RNA beneficial in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction with borderline uh, blood pressures? Now, this is something important. Often, people with heart failure will have pressures in the range of 100 to 120 millimeter of systolic blood pressure. Now, in these individuals, be guarded and start with a lower dose. Observe them for at least two weeks. So the low dose of 50 milligrams twice a day is the baseline for 80% of our patients. Some patients who are very frail, thinly built, who may be even, pressure may be ranging from 90 to 100 millimeters of mercury, we can even start with 25 milligram twice a day. And in these individuals, we find once we start the treatment with RNA, we still get a 12% reduction in risk of cardiovascular death, heart failure, hospitalization. So one must remember, even these individuals with low blood pressure stand to benefit a lot by taking RNA. So these hypotensive episodes, they are a fact because we are treating with vasodilators. But in that fluid overloaded state, they usually are well compensated for. And we find that the incidence of hypotensive episodes is clinically and significantly reduced on clinical trials and hypotension if the person is tolerating in the sense that he's alert he's maintaining perfusion he's maintaining urine output it does not lessen the treatment advantage of psychiatric biosartan over another patient and the older the patient lower the blood pressure more intense should be our monitoring of these patients in clinical parameters, including pulse, blood pressure, also his urine output, and also his KFT. Uh, 